Despite the widespread prejudice that the main producers of robotics on the planet are Asian countries, particularly Japan and South Korea, Iran has managed to introduce its latest version of a humanoid robot to the world. The device was developed within the walls of the Center of Advanced Systems and Technologies at the University of Tehran and is capable of performing unique operations that bring the mechanism closer to humans. The human-like robot Surana, fully designed by Iranian developers, is able to write its name, balance on one leg, grasp a water bottle, drill a wall, and even take selfies with anyone interested, as claimed by the portal Inverse.com. Dr. Agil Yousefi Koma, a professor of mechanical engineering leading the research group that worked on creating the robot, believes that one of the most important principles in the development of future artificial intelligence is improving the robot's interaction with the environment. Despite the fact that Serena 4 cannot engage in parkour like the robot Atlas from Boston Dynamics once did, the device can balance better than before, interact with a larger number of objects, and is capable of performing most tasks that an average person could do. The developers claim that the appearance of the robot they created can represent a symbol of technological progress towards peace and humanity. The American Aerospace Corporation, Arca Space Corporation, has created the first functioning prototype of a device similar to the hoverboard from the movie Back to the Future Part 2. The Arcaboard hoverboard can hover above any surface at a height of up to 30 centimeters. The hoverboard flies thanks to the thrust generated by 36 engines. Their total power exceeds 270 horsepower, allowing them to support a passenger weighing up to 110 kilograms. However, in terms of performance, this device is far from perfect. A full charge lasts only six minutes of flight. The charging process takes a whole six hours, but it can be reduced to 35 minutes by purchasing a docking station. The hoverboard weighs more than 80 kilograms. The speed it can reach is up to 20 kilometers per hour. The Arca board can be controlled both by body movement and via a smartphone. According to the developer, the board is made from materials used in the aerospace industry. This development costs about $20,000. Manufacturers are diligently working on improving their invention. They sincerely believe that in the future, the Arca board will not only replace urban transportation for many, but also become a popular sport. It is entirely possible that in a decade or so, hoverboarding will gather stadiums full of spectators eager to watch athletes perform aerial acrobatics. The robot named Kabutum RX-03 is inspired by the Japanese rhinoceros beetle, an insect native to Japan. It stands 11 meters tall, measures 3.6 meters in length, weighs 17 tons, and incorporates a range of features such as the ability to walk on six legs, although the RX-03 is also supported by wheels and can emit steam from its head. However, the legs are mainly for show, as the wheels beneath them actually support the RX-03, although the legs are used to control the robot's movement. During public performances, the robot can carry up to seven passengers for a fee of $2. This behemoth is not entirely intended for travel, as its maximum speed is 4.5 miles per hour. To power the massive robot, the RX-03 is equipped with two diesel internal combustion engines, which can be operated either from the cabin, complete with spaceship-like control mechanisms, or remotely using a remote control. The RX-03 is not capable of piloting itself, so there is no chance of it going out of control or acting independently. R1 is a humanoid robot designed to assist people in various situations developed by the Italian Institute of Technology. The R1 robot features an innovative design and built-in artificial intelligence, allowing it to recognize people and objects. Made half of plastic and half of carbon fiber and metal, the R1 humanoid stands at 1.25 meters tall, but can extend its torso by 20 centimeters when needed and has wheels instead of legs. The robot weighs around 50 kilograms, approximately 10 pounds, its use will involve assisting elderly people or people with disabilities. The robot is equipped with 28 motors that enable hundreds of different movements in full autonomy. In the future, the robot is planned to be equipped with an artificial membrane that will function as skin, allowing the robot to sense touch. The robot can understand and interpret language, as well as respond independently depending on the situation, all thanks to its brain containing state-of-the-art sensors, two color cameras and special 3D sensors. R1 is one of the most complex and advanced robots to date. 
American engineer Kiahi Seymour has created bionic boots, allowing even non-athletic individuals to run at speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour, 24 miles per hour. Such speed will enable competition even with cyclists, especially considering that running can be done not only on roads, but also on rough terrain. At the heart of this incredible footwear are innovative solutions that allow any person to greatly increase running speed. Bionic boots work like this. With each step, the footwear springs, allowing the runner to take large, bounding strides. This is what enables faster movement. The engineer incorporates a special wide platform into his footwear, allowing movement not only on solid surfaces like asphalt roads, but also on gravel, rugged, and rocky terrain. Of course, using this miracle footwear requires caution. After all, it is quite difficult to stop quickly at such speeds, and a fall at 40 kilometers per hour could result in injuries. Currently, the engineer dreams of improving his invention to enable movement at speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour, or 43 miles per hour, but that's in the future. For now, anyone interested can purchase this model for $265. Beam is a telepresence robotic system developed by suitable technologies that can teleport you to a remote location, allowing you to move around and communicate with people. The robot is easy to control and features a large display to enhance user communication. The Beam Pro model can operate for up to eight hours on a single charge, after which it autonomously returns to the docking station. It has a 17-inch screen, one HD camera with 3x zoom, a navigation camera, one speaker, and seven microphones. Precise navigation enables the robot to navigate around obstacles and locate specific people in a building. Users can control the robot using a computer, tablet, or smartphone, moving around and interacting with the environment through the control interface. It stands at 134 centimeters tall, weighs around 30 kilograms, and has a maximum speed of 2 kilometers per hour. The price ranges from $2,000 to $15,000, depending on the model. This is the Primer V2 robot, which can ride a bicycle just like a real person. Developed by Japanese roboticist Masahiko Yamaguchi, the Primer V2 bicycle robot may be the world's first mini-robot on a bicycle capable of riding just like a human, pedaling to set the bicycle in motion and maintaining its own balance with steering control, assisted by an integrated gyroscope. The small humanoid robot, standing 39 centimeters tall and weighing 1.6 kilograms, is actually a single unit with the bicycle. Additionally, it has been found that various speeds corresponding to the program speed are used for cycling. With the ability to overcome obstacles and other potential hazards, as well as to detect approaching objects in order to accurately determine the distance needed to pass an object, the robot can truly be called a perfectly programmed robot. In the future, it could become the most sought-after sports robot, or a good robot for distributing newspapers and mail on the streets. An engineer for the queue named Sergei Gordiev made a one-of-a-kind and fully functional bicycle that rides as normal, even thought the back wheel is two halves of a wheel, separated. A bicycle with split wheels doesn't differ much from a regular bicycle. In fact, it smoothly rides through the streets and even overcomes obstacles without collisions. What makes it unique is the placement of the rear wheel. Instead of a regular single rear wheel, the rear wheel is split in half, forming an incomplete circle. The bicycle with split wheels rides perfectly well on any terrain, on flat surfaces, and on high and low surfaces. With such a bicycle, you can easily descend stairs. However, weight is one of the main drawbacks of this bicycle design. Storing a bicycle with split wheels requires more space. The video shows that the split wheel performs its task, although it requires a wider bicycle frame to accommodate the two halves of the wheel. Which robot from today's video impressed you the most? Share your opinion in the comments. We hope you found something new and interesting in this video. If so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.